Good afternoon and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collection. Today, folks, I have another watch review for you guys. Man, it's like it's like every day is a holiday around here. It's amazing. All right, so today I have another Spinnaker watch. Uh, now, this is Spinnaker's newest re-release of a watch they call their Boatger. Uh, and I believe I'm saying that correctly based on what I watched on other YouTube uh, channel. So, a uh, very cool watch. Before we even begin with showing you guys the unboxing, which in this case I think is pretty fun. I uh, it definitely stands out. Pretty cool. Uh, let's show you the watch. Now this is... Oh, no, no, no. I, I mean, I absolutely love when watch companies are making dive style watches with this particular color. Uh, you know, I think I kind of give a little bit of credit to Doxa. Uh, Doxa has kind of been known for their bright orange uh, dive watches for a very long time. Um, and Doxa branched off into uh, kind of like, I'll call this like a Tiffany blue style watch. It's like a baby blue, like a sky blue, depending on how you see it. Um, this is something that I think that you know, every watch manufacturer, um, you know, if they don't have thousands of different watches to sell, this should definitely be a variation. Uh, these colors just scream dive watch. If you haven't checked out some of the other videos I did on some of the other Dartmouth brands, like the Delta T with that bright yellow, it seems like real popular colors lately in dive watches are going to be that bright orange, that yellow, and this particular blue. Uh, now, a couple different brands like uh, like Doxa, they make uh, the blue is more of what they call like an aquamarine. Um, this is closer to what you consider, uh, I guess, the Tiffany blue that we see um, in you know all over a lot of different watch companies are using nowadays um, with that collaboration between Patel tech and of course tiffany and company uh they use their tiffany blue face pretty cool i'm a huge fan of baby blue always have been um it's just a very summery fun color what i really like about the bodiger 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 that i wish every company would put a pronunciation in every watch listing but anyway i'm pretty sure i'm right on that what i love about this watch as well is that they did a combination of colors they also have that bright orange uh minute um, hand and of course uh, they did black so two different colors very cool very fun what's also very unique about this watch is that the indices are actually uh, appear to be attached to the crystal on the black side so they're actually floating around the inside of the watch uh, very different I have not seen uh, any other watch manufacturers do that I've seen watches that have what I call like a deeper dish uh, like some of the Invictus some of the Aragons but this is very unique and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this under the light and see if they're actually, so that's good. So what I was worried about or concerned with this uh, is that if they're attached to the crystal, you know, could shock cause them to come off. They're not actually attached to the crystal. They're actually appear to be floating around the inside of the bezel there. So there's actually an arm um, holding each one of these indices up from the edge. It just blends really nicely into the side of the case uh, or the inside of the face. So you, it almost looks like they're attached to the crystal, but they're not. They're just kind of hovering and floating. Uh, very, very cool design. Um, let's get a couple close-ups on that. I'll throw some pictures up during the video. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, we have a black unidirectional bezel. Uh, rotation on this. Let me just check the back plate because I know it is important to some of you folks. Uh, pretty solid, pretty easy to turn. Um, not as easy to turn as some of the other models. You don't have a lot of grip. It's a rather thin bezel, but let's face it, you know, <laughs> I mean, who really uses these, you know? Uh, I love the fact they put the screw down crown on the, looks like at the one, two, three, four o'clock position that gets that uh, away from your arm. Although, you know, everybody's different. Uh, for me, I'm never bothered by a crown, but um, it, it is off to the side, which I do think is kind of a a classic dive watch style. Uh, very cool bracelet, all 316 stainless steel. And we have uh, on the back the Spinnaker logo. Um, very awesome looking watch. Now, let me just put this down. For, let me throw this on the wrist for a second. And I'm going to give you guys the price point, talk about a couple of links, and um, we'll go from there. So uh, let me just go right to their website here. And I like to go to the website when you guys are here because I can read directly from what the manufacturer wants to um, you know, relay to you. We have free shipping. If you go directly to their website, use my links. You might find these pop up on Amazon, but um, you're not gonna get the 20% off. So right now, uh, if you use Fat Cat Collections 20, again, link is in the description. Make sure you, you type it in correctly. You get 20% off this. Uh, the price on it is $6.90 right now, uh, which, you know, prices are kind of all over the place with a lot of different brands. Uh, I think a lot of times brands kind of depend upon uh, running promotions and getting the hype around the watch. 
Uh, this is a this is a great looking watch, and uh, and what I, what I, like I said with every single watch review is I want you guys whether you you know enjoy the video whether you watch a little bit of the video whether this kind of sparks a little interest in a product is uh, go check out their website and you can see a lot of the close up pictures I'll throw them up regardless but you can get it right from the manufacturer so let's talk specifications right now so we have a Miota nine zero one five automatic three hand movement with date. Made of, uh, the case is made of stainless steel, I believe that is 316. 42 millimeter case diameter, uh, which is your, I mean, pretty safe size for most folks. 13 millimeter in case thickness. Uh, you know, a lot of times I'll say it has a nice wrist presence, but in all honesty, you know, I, I, everybody's got a different idea of what they consider a wrist presence. Um, you know, if 13 millimeter is something you like, some guys really like a thin watch. Just totally depends. It is very subject subjective. Again, unidirectional turning bezel. It does have that sapphire crystal. That is a checkbox for many, many folks. Uh, 300 meters of water resistance. Uh, the strap on this, they say it's an NBR rubber strap. Not this one. I'll show you that one in a second. And we have a 26 millimeter stainless steel bracelet with fold over buckle and safety lock and push button. Let me just show you guys that there. It is a milled clasp, of course, which is... Uh, you know, when I do these videos, a lot of things that what I'm trying to do lately is a lot of the things that I don't necessarily worry about. A lot of people do. So um, it's worth mentioning. It is a milled clasp, dual push button deployment, safety lock, and you have three micro adjustments on here. Uh, very nice looking watch. And I think what really sets us apart is, of course, that that awesome Tiffany blue face. Very cool. Uh, all right. So let's talk about the... Let me just show you guys here the unboxing. So what I like about this, what's really exciting about this box and this particular presentation is that bright orange. Um, again, a lot of the other Spinnaker boxes, a lot of the other uh, RGMT boxes, they all use this um, type of dive case. You know, it's like a Pelican case. Very close to the style of pe Pelican case. Some of the other companies I've reviewed in the past um, are more of like a hard plastic. If you drop them, they'll break. This is really dual purpose. You can use this for you know other other things you know a lot of times I use I repurpose these boxes uh, for jewelry for coins you know whatever you want to put in them uh, you have a little bit element of um, organization a little bit of protection um, these are great when we're going on the boat I put like my phone in there just in case we had a problem it rain storm whatever uh, we have some protection uh, the outer box is just you know again bright orange with that big spinnaker logo on it uh, very Halloween right we just we just came out of Halloween but um, I like the bright orange I think when companies make watches that are dive specific, I think this is a fantastic color. Um, and of course, I love the fact that they could have, you know, they and I believe this is the color you're gonna get with whatever watch you decide, whatever color combination that you decide to get. Uh, but again, don't quote me on it, at least I got the orange. I hope that they do this on all of them. Uh, Spinnaker logo on top, pop the case open. Um, again, if you've seen my RGMT videos, my, my other Spinnaker, my Ballast videos, this case is kind of used across a lot of the Dartmouth branded watches. Uh, we have your uh, instruction manual, which for me will never be opened. Uh, we have your hang tag. Um, you do have a screwdriver here, and you have a, uh, what do you call these? One of the little sizing tools, and I, I call them like push pin release tools. Uh, and you get that extra strap. So this is what I really like about this watch too. You guys know that I'm a huge bracelet watch guy. I prefer bracelet, but um, sometimes if, you know, the rubber straps are great. Um, you know, this is absolutely fantastic. I mean, the quality on these things, you know, sometimes you get silicone. In this case is NBR. Um, I'm not really sure a lot of the difference in longevity because I generally go with stainless steel. Uh, but, um, you know, most of the watches I have, the only time I've ever really had a problem with any kind of material like this is when it's been just standard silicone. Uh, but again, like, like you guys know, I'll always come back and re-review if something fails. Like that one Sterling watch I had, or once put it in the watch box, came back and it was in two pieces. So it just kind of dried out. Hopefully this is a material that doesn't dry out. Uh, and knowing, you know, you, knowing the quality that you get from Dartmouth brands, I don't think you're going to have any problem. You have a really nice stainless steel clasp. And this really, um, I don't know, re this really freshens the watch up to really make it uh, just this bright, aqua blue, um, just very summery style watch. Um, this is one of those watches that I probably will change up and throw on the strap as well. Uh, now, if you're not a fan of the blue, uh, as far as the color options on this one here, we do have, and let me go right to see what they have on here today. They do have this available in, looks like eight different variations. 
Um, I think that the top four are going to be your best variations. They make it in black uh, with a just stainless steel bezel. Um, the four that are kind of the bright colors are have a black bezel, okay? Um, you can get it in the stainless steel with the black bezel. You can get it with the silver bezel. And those are more of us like they have a, 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 it looks like a blue and gun metal. They call it midnight blue and obsidian black, tropical orange. But the real winners, I think, on these are going to be the blizzard white, which is awesome. You have a, a real cool stormtrooper kind of look, black and white. We have the coral orange. We have the yellow, lemon yellow. Well, let me just not forget the lemon. And then the Azure, which is the one that I have. I think the Azure is the best one. If I had to choose a second, that orange is really nice. But, man, the white really pops, too. So just an incredible-looking watch. Again, you know, with the quality on these, I don't spend a lot of time nitpicking the quality. Uh, you know, because... In all honesty, when I look at these watches, either either you have quality or you don't, you know. And some things that I mainly look for in a watch is, you know, my checkboxes. You know, what is it made out of? Well, first checkbox, do I like it? You know, does the watch call to me? Do I like this watch? Will I wear this watch? Will I accessorize with this watch? This one definitely checks that box. Uh, next thing, most important thing to me is what is it made out of? Here we have that 316 stainless steel. That you know you're getting quality construction. After that, the crystal is a checkbox for many people. For me, it's not. What, I'm, what I like more, um, what's more of a checkbox for me, is how is the case back attached? Now, this is not a threaded case back. It is a screw down case back. Sorry, not a screw down case back, but a six screw attached case back. A little bit different than a lot of the other watches that I've seen. Ultimately, um, you know, is that really a checkbox for me? You know, it doesn't really bother me. If it's attached properly, if the watch is constructed right, it, you're not going to have any leakage problems. Uh, screw down crown, of course, that's a, that's. I always like to see that, not just for that extra water resistance and dust resistance, but mainly for, um, you know, just... Just the structural integrity. You know, you don't have a crown that might get pulled on something that's locked down and screwed down properly. Um, I like that. And then, of course, after that, you know, when I look at the some folks, uh, you know, checkbox might be milled versus stamp class. For me, I'm sure if I see a milled clasp, I'm like, ooh, that looks a little nicer, but it doesn't really make a difference as far as comfort, longevity, quality. It, it doesn't make any difference. And I think the last thing really is bezel bezel action. You know, uh, is the bezel hard to turn or easy to turn? That's not for me a deal breaker because everybody that's it's a very subjective description. Oh, this is easy for me. This is hard. You know, you can't really label quality around that. Uh, but you know, does it have any back play? Some watches I have, you know, have a little back play. It's never a deal breaker for me, but for some folks, it is. Uh, they really nitpick watches. For this, I don't, from what I can tell, I don't see any back play. So, just an incredible watch. Really clean, really nice looking. And this is just one of these watches that when I, you know, we all get vibes like when we smell cologne or we, when we, um, you know, just, you know, when you see something you like, you get, a, you get a vibe. And to me, any again, anytime I see a watch that has that bright blue face, I, I just, I'm really drawn to it. Um, hence the reason why I just picked up my, you know, Pagani Design uh, Doxa Homage, another, you know, Tiffany Blue style watch. Um, this is definitely not the last Tiffany Blue watch I'll have in the collection. I'm always drawn to them. Um, I just think it really stands out. And, uh, you know, for guys, you know, I, I, I'm, we're all grown well, I'm a grown man. You may be, most people watch me are probably grown men. Uh, you know, and I, but I, I don't want to tell you guys how to dress, but I kind of like to accessorize a little bit. You know, if it's a nice summer day and I'm wearing like a nice baby blue dress shirt or polo, um, you know, this is a great watch to accessorize with that. And I think the uniqueness of this watch, what really sets it apart is, you know, we've seen a lot of watches that are similar. It's a basic design, you know, it's not over the top, uh, but I love the fact that the indices are floating. Now, as far as, sometimes Dartmouth brands, they, they leave off some important information here. Um, as far as the, as far as the loom on this, they don't mention the loom again. So uh, if you do need to know before making a purchase, let me know. I, I have a contact that can get that information for you. Um, it, it is something I, I hope that they, I really should just create a, a list of checkboxes. You know, that I, from my experience dealing with, you know, people watching my videos and myself included, what are the checkboxes? And have them add that specifically as checkboxes, uh, you know, to their website. It is a big deal for people. Again, for me, it's not, but uh, people do care about the crystal. They do care about the case back. They do care about, you know, what kind of loom. Um, as far as my experience with the loom, and let me just kind of try to charge this up a little bit, and just give you guys kind of a real time assessment here. Um, you know, if we compare this to like my steel dive and uh, we compare this to, let's say, 
uh, my aqua dive generally they charge up really easily this i held it in front of the light and i don't get a bright charge here let me try something else i have a oh, good indication here see what it try a flashlight and see if we get anything so we got some glow going on you're, you're not going to be able to see it with the with the ring light blasting right in front of you here but um we're getting some glowage and oh it's kind of cool i wish you can see this but um again go to their website but um the actual uh, hour second and uh, minute hands the loom on those is actually a different color so it's actually more of like an aqua or a, in this case azure um and then we have kind of like the traditional green color around the indices. So very cool. I'm looking forward to seeing this at night. I'll charge it up and see what she looks like later on tonight. But I think it's a killer watch. I think you guys will really like it. And I encourage you to check it out. So anyway, I want to thank, as always, Dartmouth Brands for collaborating. Uh, they've been amazing. G give me the opportunity to, to add so many cool watches to my collection and share them with you guys. Uh, it's been great. And, you know, this company is just one that really impresses me. Um, you know, of course, not that because they're sending me free watches, but just because I, everything that I get from them, I haven't had anything where I'm like, ah, you know, I don't really like this or, or I'm not, you know, I'm not really feeling the quality on this. They're pretty consistent across all their brands that they represent and brands that they, you know, produce. Uh, I'm not sure if like brands like the Duxo or uh, Ballast are made in the same factory. I don't know about that. Maybe in time I'll get more information for you guys. But um, ultimately, I think when we look at different watches in the watch community, um, you know, I hear a lot of people, they're like, oh, Techno Marine is so much better than Invicta. It's like, dude, they're the same watch, you know, and there's different levels on each one. I have Techno Marines that are, you know, like my most recent one that the quality is not on Pro Diver level, but it's nice. I, I dig it. I'm happy. I enjoy wearing it, but it's just not there. Um, you know, um, you're going to have that with different brands. And, and when people see brands like Spinnaker, like, oh, it blows Invicta away. Or other people are like, oh, Invicta's better than Spinnaker and Aragon. And you're going to get all this nonstop. It never ends. Uh, but ultimately, like I always say, buy what makes you happy. For my purposes, for my assessment, I love the quality that Spinnaker is provide, offering. I love the quality of their Dartmouth brands. And I think if you give them a try, I think you'll like them too. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day and take care.